you know I had chickens? We had them ever since they were baby chicks. Look, they're all grown up now. Here they were when they were little chicks. Roll the clip. I can't believe how much they have grown. I've also had this yellow toy car for a long time, but it hasn't grown up. I wonder why. See, it stayed the exact same size. So why did my chickens get bigger, but my toy car didn't? Did you get it? My chicks are alive. That means they're living and they grow up. But my toy car is non-living, so it doesn't grow up. That's why it didn't grow up. There are living things and non-living things all around us. This tree is a living thing. This ball right here, a non-living thing. I'm a living thing. Woohoo! I'm living! We need these rocks that you see are non-living. What makes something living or non-living? Here's some common rules that all living things have in common. Rule number one, living things need energy. You and I are living things. That's why we need energy. And I also need energy to kick this ball. I also need energy to jump because I'm a living thing. This penguin is a living thing, so it needs energy to swim. Birds are living things, so it needs energy to fly in the sky. But how do we get energy? By eating food, of course, like eating an orange. Yummy energy. What do you guys like to eat to get energy? Hmm, I think I'm gonna get a mango to get some energy. Okay, be right back. This panda is a living thing, so it eats bamboo for energy. Here is a caterpillar. It's a living thing. It's eating leaves to get energy to grow. Plants are living things, so they need energy too. Plants get energy from the sun to make their own food, a process called photosynthesis. And now rule number two. Living things change and grow over time. Just like my chickens. They grew from baby chicks to full adult chickens. I'm a living thing, so I'm also growing and changing. A long time ago, I was just a baby. But since I'm a living thing, I change over time. At first, I was just a baby. Now I'm growing up and I'm a lot taller. Here is a caterpillar. That is a living thing, so it will grow and change into a beautiful butterfly. Here is a baby kitten. It's a living thing. Soon it will grow and change into a cat. Is a tadpole a living thing? It is a living thing. One day it will grow into a frog. Plants are living things, so they grow too. Whoa, look how tall that plant is. When you plant a seed, over time it will grow into a plant. Rule number three, living things reproduce. Reproduce is to make more. So, since animals are living things, they reproduce by making babies. A pig is a living thing, so it reproduces to make a baby pig called a piglet. A chicken is a living thing, so it reproduces by laying eggs. A monkey is a living thing, so it reproduces to make baby monkeys. Plants like this one also reproduce. Whee! So they reproduce by making seeds that over time will grow into new plants. Bacteria are also living things. That means they reproduce. Ah, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Be right back. Rule number four, living things respond to their environment. For example, it's getting really cold outside. What do I do to respond to my environment? Oh, a jacket. 
jacket, of course, to keep warm. Now, all warm. <laughs> Animals also respond to their surrounding or environment, too. Birds will fly south for the winter to avoid harsh weather and to find food. Bears will respond to their environment by hibernating in the winter to save energy when there are less food. Plants like this one also respond to their environment. In the fall, when it gets cooler and cold, the plant's leaves change color and even falls off the tree. Now let's recap some rules of living things like you and me. Rule number one, living things need energy, like this monkey eating a banana. Rule number two, living things grow and change over time, like this baby elephant will one day grow big and tall. Rule number three, living things reproduce. This dog reproduces to make puppies. Rule number four, living things respond to their environment. Since plants are living things, plants will grow and bend toward light. So, if it does not follow these common rules, they are non-living. Now that we've learned about living things, let's test what you know about living things and non-living things. So, are these gems non-living or living? So let's think about it. These gems do not need energy, they don't reproduce, they don't grow or change, and they don't respond to the environment, which means they are non-living. What about this rabbit? Is it living or non-living? Think about it. Do they need energy? Yes, they need to eat. Check. Do they grow and change? Yes, over time the baby rabbit will get bigger. Check. Does the rabbit reproduce? Yes, they make lots of baby rabbits. Check. Do they respond to their environment? Of course, when a fox is nearby, the rabbit will run away to hide. Check. That means the rabbit is a living thing. What about my shoes? Hmm. So are they non-living or living? Did you get it? They're non-living, because they don't need energy to run. I need energy to run in my shoes. Whoa, 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 whee! Are these ball pit balls non-living or living? They're obviously non-living. Okay guys, here's a tricky one. This apple and mango, non-living or living? Do you get it? They're living things. Scientists said even though if they were living, we still call them living things. I hope you guys had fun learning non-living things and living things with me. Bye! Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye! Here's my non-living car coming right at ya. Whee!